Hello there, and thank you for watching. My name is Christopher Apodaca, and I will be giving a short overview of the binary number system and its applications. Binary numbers have been around for a long time. In fact, there are studies that suggest binary was an adopted form of an ancient pseudo-random number algorithm derived from Bamana sand divination in parts of Africa, which then later migrated to Europe where Leibniz discovered that you can represent values using a 1 and a 0. And then eventually George Boole took this idea, revisioned it to his own form of mathematics, which he adopted from Leibniz, and developed Boolean algebra. The idea is simple. Given a state of something with two discrete forms, say an on or an off, true and false, or heads and tails, we can choose to express these finite values with either a 1 or a 0 for simplicity. So let's go ahead and consider the humble lamp. A lamp can only ever be in two states, either on or off. This analogy makes it a great foundation for our simple concept. We can represent the state of the lamp in binary as a 1 or a 0, that is to say, on or off. Now let's consider a computer and all its little bits. A computer is much like a lamp in that it doesn't understand numbers the same way humans do. In fact, it doesn't understand numbers at all. It only understands the state of a bit. In computer architecture, a bit is actually a small component called a flip-flop that is capable of being in an on or off state. Computer engineers build flip-flops in rows of 8, 16, 32, or 64 bits, and each row we call a register or a piece of memory. Imagine each row of flip-flops like a row of lamps, wherein each lamp can be either on or off, depending on whether or not it has power. Consider the register of lamps in the image below. A solid black light bulb, our flip-flop, represents on, and therefore one in our computer, whereas a white light bulb is off and therefore zero. It's great that computers have their own way of expressing themselves, but it's useless to us unless we can speak their language. So what does it mean to have a representation like we have below? First, let's consider how many possible different combinations of on-off lights we can have with these eight bits. Well. We have 8 bits, and each bit can be in one of two possible states. So we can therefore have 2 to the 8 different combinations, or 256 different ways to represent this specific 8-bit register. That means that we can map each different combination to its decimal number. Great! So if we wanted to map a register to its decimal equivalent, all we would need to do is look at the bits that are flipped on and add its power equivalent to the other bits that are also flipped on. For example, note that the two lights that are on correlate to 2 to the 3rd power and 2 to the 2nd power. Well, we know 2 to the 3rd power is 8, and 2 to the 2nd power is 4. Therefore, this representation is equivalent to 12 in decimal. This is how we encode and decode binary. I hope this introduction served as a base foundation for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.